Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Having a lazy Sunday here on account of it's raining outside. The wife had a whole round to it list and I got out of her. Baby, sugar, honey, I'll do it next weekend. It's raining. Anyway, my buddy just got out of jail. That's that's what we call mining camp. You go in for two weeks, you come out for two weeks. So in celebration, we had a little homemade racia. So let me just say I'm not too heartbroken about not mowing the lawn today. So anyway, I figured I'd come down and clean up the shop, but I got distracted with Kate. Now what this is is a public service to check out if cheap sunglasses, I myself, I prefer the Bay Ram P's. Some guys like the Jokelis. So you're on Santorini and you see a $9 pair of Jokelis or you're in Bucerias and that guy's saying, Hey muchacho, check out my shop, man. Cheaper than Walmart. Same junk, better prices. And you really want to take his word at face value that the glasses are not going to burn your eyeballs out. I don't want to be a doubting Thomas because I'm sure the Latino shopkeeper has my ocular health first and foremost in his mind. It just so happens I sent Eda Fruit some legal tender and they sent me a UV sensor. So we got a big lunch of sunglasses we're going to test out. Here's the sensor breakout that the incomparable Miss Miz, excuse me, Freed sent me. And that's the little UV, IR, and visible light spectrum, well, radiation sensor. And at the behest of some viewers, I also bought a few $3 Arduinos, and much to my surprise, they are actually working. And that's connected to our little breakout. You'll note that we have the government-mandated amount of HPHT. Thank you, Hockey Tape Lobby. And we have a UB laser. Yes, my laser has a key switch. Doesn't yours? And according to the only available data sheet, which is a sticker on the side of this, this laser outputs 400 newton meters. She's a torquey little rig. However, 400 nanometers puts it right in the UVA range. Okay, so we've got the thing updating. It's reading the IR, the UV, and the visible light spectrum. We don't care about visible, really. Or maybe we do. Anyway, we'll get some data. Contact on the laser. Let's just adjust our roach clip here. Okay, so we're going to start with the cheapest set of sunglasses I could find, and these are chickadees. I bought these at the dollar store for exactly one dollar, and I'm pretty sure in Vancouver that constitutes child abuse. Luckily, they never have any sunshine, so it's never been an issue. Well, look at that. That's blocking out about a million percent. Might as well be looking through a welding helmet. So these are great. One dollar. Working great. So here's some twenty dollar drugstore ones. Those are good too. Point two, point eighteen. Here we got my wife's um, old coach ones. She spent a pretty penny on these. I think these were like a hundred bucks at Costco. So those are great, point, point 0.15. Oh, these ones, check. <laughs> these are just uh, my LARPing glasses. They just go in the tickle trunk. 0.54 in there. And these are basically completely clear. There's no tint to them at all. Let's see, here's some other uh, dime store ones. Oh, those are really good too. Wow. Crazy. Now, here we come to the Bayran peas made in the US and A. Look at that. They must, uh, yeah, look at that. Must be Taiwan, Michigan. And there we go. 0.36. Just as good as every other pair. See how the dirty old welding glass does. Oh yeah. No surprise there. Cuts all the UV right out. Well, there you have it. A little $10 sensor. You get to do some citizen shines. And now you know, after a heavy night of drinking that homemade smoky Mexican racia, even the cheap old band peas made in Taiwan, Michigan, are going to protect your two piss holes in the snow. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your lip off the tip. Hmm, now what other possible use could I have for such a cute little device? Heh, heh, heh.